here's a bike my 2005 V-Strom 1000 and great bike has about 53,000 and change uh, miles on her she's doing really good but I was missing a couple of things and hint hint there's a light bar that's one of the things I'm going to be doing I've got a set of lights that I'm going to show you guys in a bit and just for the sake of doing it and safety purposes I'm going to be installing a horn uh, better than a stock horn here are the farkles so these are these are the auxiliary lights that I decided on purchasing the Denali D4s uh, they're supposed to be zoom in on what we got there they're pretty high vis according to what we see and some comparison between the standard low beam high beam and what the Denali D4s can do um, they are supposed to be uh, spotlights as well as floodlights and I'll I'll take them apart and show them to you guys in a little bit um, so yeah installing those that should be pretty good to go got these at the Dallas Motor International Motorcycle Show um, from Twisted Throttle um, they had a little bit of a deal not so much but a little bit of a deal and you know I had been looking for lights for the longest time and I decided you know finally pull the pull the the, the trigger and you know I've seen all these cheap lights from eBay and Amazon and stuff like that nothing wrong with those but you know do it once do it right is it's kind of like what I want to do um, so I decided to save up a little bit of money and just go ahead and pull the plug on a good set of lights that have some warranty and everything so that's that open this up here all right so as we unbox the lights good packaging here we have the wiring harness we'll take that out in a bit it has the uh, switch already has a relay battery connectors which I'm just gonna cut out because uh, I'm just gonna plug it directly to the fuse block so wiring harness what we have here zip ties uh, posi locks and looks like a wrench and a couple of spacers in there and in detailed instructions Set that there and then we move on to the lights themselves so pretty nice the lights themselves come individually packaged the Denali D4s anything else in the box? box is empty set that aside this is right over there Gonna, let's open one of these boxes. Take a look at the actual Denali D4s. Doing this one handed is not fun. Bubble wrap. Okay. Let's move that box out of the way. Full sheet of bubble wrap. Okay, there we go. There are the lights. You can see the top, looks like the top two are your spotlights. Your bottom two seem to be floodlights. Plastic, kind of like a, I'm sure they have a name for it, but it looks like a strong protective plastic casing. It's all metal. On the side, the Nolly has its bracket swivel bracket and a pretty pretty good adjustment and it's a quick detach um, in case you ever need to take them out or work on the bike and, and interesting so they attach to the wiring kit but quick detach that's pretty cool so ultimately what's going to happen is the light will be mounted like so and then you can adjust it left and right, up and down. Huh. Interesting. Debating whether it could be kind of good to uh, reposition them here. But that's kind of cool with the quick detach that if I want to reposition them, I don't have to take off the whole thing. I just I just detach the light and move it around. Wonder how it would be with the spots on the bottom and the floods on the top. We'll see. But anyway, guys. There's a light. I'm going to continue unbuttoning the bike and probably lifting the tank and all that stuff and uh, get back to you guys soon. All right. 
All right, guys, so here's an update. I took the seat off of the bike and I have my Eastern Beaver power fuse block set up right here. So, as you can see, I still had a few spaces, mind you. Let me try and get better lighting over here. These are the switched fuses, these are the two unswitched fuses. And the light's really not helping. Anyway. Don't mind this first, the, the first one of the unswitch is kind of, uh, kind of crept out on me. Learned, uh, loose connection there, crept out on me a few uh, months ago, so that's kind of out of commission. Anyway, I had my Eastern Beaver H4 headlight relay uh, in that fuse, in that uh, opening, so I moved it over to the switch fuse number six, but then I learned from uh, the forum in Grey Wolf that you can actually plug it into the unswitch side because the lights are uh, managed directly by uh, the bike stock harness so if you put you plug your h4 relay sorry on the uh, unswitched it works out just fine so then you're opening up another um, uh, what you call it unswitched source so those two unswitched I'm sorry switch sources so those two switched sources are now open so on slot number five I will have the um, the auxiliary lights and on slot number six I will have the horn this means that out of the original eight slots available uh, one out of commission that means seven I will be using all seven number two is my voltmeter number three is a power outlet number four is my GPS number five will be the uh, lights the auxiliary lights and number six will be the horn number seven the H4 relay and number eight is another um, unswitched uh, 12 volt outlet all right ladies and gentlemen the project is completed everything is wired directly to the fuse block all this wiring is kinda seems like a mess but it's you know you got a horn you got auxiliary lights you got GPS you got relays you got everything that's right over here so I mean it's gonna be a little Teddy, but it, it, it's all actually very well organized, believe it or not. <laughs> um, especially when I'm riding all the wires for every individual system all the way through here. See, I try and bundle them all together like so. Uh, no binding whatsoever. The, uh, the tank is all the way down. All right, so, uh, so the switch is right here. I showed you before, but here are the lights. I still need to put all the plastics and stuff back together and actually adjust the lights themselves, but they're mounted and they're working, which is the important thing. So let me see if I can uh, give you guys a little demo of how these lights will look. I set the camera right about here. All right, I'm going to be switching out all the lights in the garage. There may be some uh, reflective light coming in from out the outside, but uh, give me a quick second over here. while we give you all this demo. All right. That is a stock low beam light. Stock high beam light. Denali B4s. Amazing. They light up the night. I actually haven't ridden yet, obviously, but you can very well see how powerful these lights are. Again, turn them off. We got high beam right here, low beam, low beam and Denali lights, and then high beam and Denali lights. High beams only, low beam. Pretty cool, huh? Let's see. So yeah guys, there she is. The install was pretty um, you know, easy. The, the installation itself, it's easy, especially with that plug and play kit. The only thing is, I mean, if you, you gotta really take your time in routing cables and making sure that everything is, is set correctly, particularly if you have a lot of accessories already and you have to you know, fit cables all together following the same path. All right guys, so that's Denali D4 installation on a V-Strom 1000. Hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to send any comments with any questions, concerns. Uh, I'll be very happy to answer any, any of those that you guys may have. But uh, till next time, this is Photo Rider out.